This is the Apple LED Cinema Display. It was released in 2008, and believe it or not, is still a very capable monitor for use with Windows or Mac OS machines. I use one daily. So these displays came in either 24 or 27 inch options. The 24 inch runs a resolution of 1920 by 1200. Passable, I suppose, but far from retina. The 27 inch is superior actually, showing a 2560 by 1440 resolution. Refresh rates on both of these are 60 Hz, a very average number in the world of monitors. The cables for this are built in, meaning you can only connect with a mini display port cable. You'll need to use an adapter if you have a different output from your computer. Just looking at it, you can tell this thing is hefty. 9.5 kilograms or 21 pounds, and that's the smaller version. At its thickest point, it measures 2.3 inches or 5.7 centimeters in thickness. The bezels are also around an inch thick, so you're looking at something a lot larger than it would be nowadays, for certain. Its regular kettle power lead keeps it running at up to 250 watts, but that's while it's charging a MacBook with the attached cable. Connecting the USB cable enables use of the camera, microphone and speakers, which all work in Windows and Mac OS, I should add. So those are the on paper specs, which all seem fairly average and certainly nothing special for 2023. Why am I making a video on this then? Because I love it. Why do I love it? Well, I like to edit video and write up projects using this connected to my laptop. If you have almost any MacBook from 2008 to 2016, you're able to connect it and charge it at the same time using only one wall plug. Despite working well with my laptop, all its features excel using both Windows and Mac OS machines. The speakers are stereo, with one on each side of the bottom bezel. I have friends with 1440p gaming monitors which come with speakers that aren't half this good. They're so loud and so clear, it's really not necessary to buy standalone speakers on top of these. Unless you're looking for real top quality stuff, I suppose. Speaking of gaming monitors, the cinema display can actually be overclocked decently in Windows for gaming. I run 85Hz stable. I've seen them go up to 90 before. This is really noticeable and improves the picture a lot. At the time it was sold, this panel was known for having some of the best colour replication in its class, as well as wide viewing angles and good contrast. I tried to showcase how it looks in person here. Another reason to love this monitor is its current pricing. I got this one on Facebook Marketplace for £60. Deals like this are common for the 24 inch, but as I said, the 27 inch is the better of the two, so you could pay a hundred and something for it, if that's what you're after. The USB ports at the back of the display are such great things to have on any monitor. They give it another function as a splitter, giving you three more ports. Um, by the way, I would be showing you guys a lot more of the back of this computer, but there's sort of an LED arrangement going on which is a bit ugly. Anyway, if you can find one of these cheaply, I recommend picking one up no matter what computer you've got. So yeah, in a nutshell, it's a desktop monitor that runs just above 1080p, 60Hz or 90 if overclocked, and it's got a lot of features I think are brilliant. If you're looking for something high-end, this thing does show its age, and it's no longer competing with this decade's monitors, but it's very usable in 2023. Thanks a lot for choosing this video. I've been doing this weekly upload thing for a couple of months now, and I'm loving having a proper routine and like a project to put some proper thought into. I'm pleasantly surprised to get some decent view counts as well, but uh, definitely subscribe for some more intriguing future videos, if you're interested. I know some of my videos are on topics that have been covered by other YouTubers, but like, at this early stage I'm just trying to pump out as many vids as I can to get a kind of catalogue going. Once I get a proper following I'm going to start making unique and probably longer videos. Anyway, uh, for those of you who are subscribed, I'll see you guys in the next one.